my feeling is there's two places to begin. One is where there's biology. There has to be something to save. Fine. But also, there are many pieces that potentially could be saved. So the other side of the answer is, I think, you should invest your money in the places where there is a sufficiently stable and established administrative and social structure such that when you buy it, the piece of land you buy joins to an institutional structure so that it survives as a part of something that's at the government level, like a national park, and that's what national parks are. They're legislated by governments, and they're in place as much as the government is. So those countries where you have a stable government, a stable legislative structure, stable laws, and a society that is, I think, move past the frontier. It's now to the point where people recognize and honor ownership. So if you own this piece of land and you're doing things on it, it's yours. It isn't that somebody's going to come along and be a squatter on it or cut down or steal your trees. And that's what's the case around here. This is the whole ACG is 2% of Costa Rica. 2%. We have 11 policemen for 2% of the country. And those policemen really spend their time helping people mostly. That's what they really do. There always almost no poaching, hunting, st tree, stealing trees, and there's no squatting at all. Why? Why? Because we're now in a stable society that's as stable as yours is. We went to a national park in Sweden, and I asked, are there any staff? The answer was no. There was a sign that said national park, but there was nobody there keeping you out. Why? Because you read the sign, you know it's a national park. Ah, oh, that's a national park. So I don't go and cut down the trees. I don't go put my cows there. I don't start to plow a field there. Well, this society has gotten to that same level, just like it has in most of the United States. And I think probably a lot of Europe must be the same way. I don't know, but I guess a lot of Europe is probably that way. And parts of Mexico have become that way. Parts of Brazil have become part of that way. There may be places in Ecuador and Peru that are that way. I am uncertain about that. I have not spent any time there, so I, I don't know. But I would, if, if I was put, placing money to save rainforest, my opinion is I put it where I know that once it's bought, it's part of an institutional structure, part of a stable society that will recognize it as, how shall I put it, as being as valuable as any other kind of land use. Because that's what a national park really is. It's one kind of land use. An orange plantation is another kind of land use. A pineapple field is another kind of land use. If the society views this land use as valuable to it, the society as a whole will protect it. They will pass laws, they will have regulations, they will have police, they will do whatever they need to do, just like they will protect your pineapple field.